back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me as I clean and decorate for summer. So today's video is actually the first of a little series I'm going to be doing because I cannot do all of them in this video. I'm still waiting on some pieces and everything like that and I'm just ready to start getting some decor videos up for you guys. I was also waiting until my kitchen cabinets were done so I could decorate that for you guys. So we are actually going to be starting off in my dining room today which consists of my hutch and obviously my dining room table and everything like that. I am going for the red, white, and blue theme in my dining room this year and I'm really excited about it. I love the lemons but I feel like there's a lot of lemons going around so I wanted to kind of change things up for you guys a little bit. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to be doing some lemons in my kitchen, so if you like the lemon idea and you want to see how I'm going to decorate for that, make sure you press the subscribe button because I will be having my kitchen summer decorate video coming up next week for you guys. But since we're going with the red, white, and blue theme in my dining room, I'm also going to be doing a little DIY with you guys, and I'm going to be sharing a delicious dessert recipe with you guys that is perfect for the 4th of July if you're having like a cookout or going anywhere where you need to bring a dish. So incredibly easy and so yummy. So make sure you guys keep watching for all that good stuff and let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off by sharing with you guys this super simple DIY. So I love the vintage looking flags and I didn't want to spend extra money on them when flags are so inexpensive. So I decided to make my own tea stained flags. So I just got five cups of water boiling and then once that was all boiled, I went ahead and added in five bags of black tea. Um, I don't think that it matters what kind of tea you use, but I got mine right from Target. I'll show you a picture of it here in a few seconds. And then after you get your tea going, I just laid my flags into a deep dish. I started with three on the bottom and put about half the mixture over it. And then I put three more flags in and poured in the rest of the mixture. And then I took my tea bags and just put them into this deep dish as well. And I let this soak for about a half an hour, maybe an hour. The longer you let it soak, obviously, the more vintage feeling you'll get. And I wish that I let mine soak for longer. Just a heads up if you do this, um, even overnight, <laughs> you'd probably get great results. But I only did about an hour and they did still turn out good. I'm happy with them. But after I let them soak, I put them in a mug on top of a paper towel because they're going to drip all over and place them in front of the window and I let them dry overnight. So at that point, they were all done. Mistakes haunt us, but do they really daunt us? Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close to the heart, but we can master the art. So here's the end result. I feel like it's hard to get a full view on the camera. Like you can't tell just how vintagey they are. I tried to lay it against another flag that wasn't tea stained, uh, but I feel like it just still doesn't show up as great on camera. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the few items that I got new from the Target dollar spot this year. So I picked up this banner that I believe was $5 and this little hanging USA sign, which I didn't even end up using, but this was $3. It's super cute. I just couldn't find a spot for it. And then I picked up this USA sign as well. This one was a dollar and they do have other variations of this. Unfortunately, my Target didn't have the other variations when I went. So I ended up with another USA sign. These metal stars, you guys, I'm in love with them. They're $5 a piece, which is a little pricey, I think. But I feel like there's so many different ways you can decorate with these, especially like outside. Um, if I get to that in time, I think that I'd go and pick up some more stars for outside because I can think of so many different ways. I also picked up this large vase from the hearth and hand section at Target. This was $24.99 and once I got home I was kind of wishing that I got the extra large one because I want to use it on my dining room table but nonetheless I'm going to make the large one work. And then last but not least I picked up this table runner from Amazon. It was literally like $8 and some change um, so super inexpensive and it works perfect for what I need it for. So now that I got that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning and decorating. If you've watched me for a while, you know I always start off by decorating my hutch. So I'm actually going to start by cleaning underneath my hutch because with dogs and kids, 
this is just something that has to be done sometimes. Um, it wasn't that bad this time around because I've been doing it more frequently. I noticed that like if Brayden spills a drink or something, it tends to um, go under there and it just gets really gross. So I just like to do this here and there. Um, just mop under there and I also like wipe down the walls and everything like that. And then I went ahead and wiped down my hutch. Which, can I just tell you guys, I really want to repaint my hutch. I literally just did this like a year and a half ago when I first got this from my mom. It was wood, um, like a wood tone hutch and I painted it white, but I used chalk paint and I do not suggest chalk paint. Honestly, like the finish you get at first, it looks really nice, but it does not hold up well. It doesn't clean well. I just don't suggest it. I think that I'm going to go back in with my cabinet paint that I used recently in my last video on my cabinets and um, do that because I think it will hold up a lot better. So before I get into explaining the madness behind how I decorate, I wanted to take a minute and introduce myself and say hi and welcome if you're new here. If you are new here, my name's Tristina and I post mommy and lifestyle videos for you guys three times a week. I am a stay-at-home mom, so I post like a lot of homemaking videos, decor videos, everything like that. I hope to give you guys motivation and inspiration in your everyday life. And also by creating videos, it gives me motivation. It gives me something to do and kind of something to look forward to outside of my everyday mommy life. And I just have always really enjoyed creating content for you guys. So if you enjoy what you see, it would mean the world to me if you'd press that subscribe button and become part of my YouTube family. And also introduce yourself in the comments down below. I love communicating with you guys. It's like seriously my human interaction for the day. <laughs> That's not, I shouldn't say human interaction. I should say adult interaction. But either way, <laughs> make sure you introduce yourself in the comments down below. Now on to the decorating of this hutch, you guys. I had zero clue what I was going to do. I literally went into this video <laughs> with just no idea what I wanted to do. Usually I'll kind of like work it out before I film so you guys don't have to see me like change my mind a million times but I thought that that might be kind of fun to show you what really happens when I decorate. I do a lot of putting things down, backing up, taking things back out like just changing it up 24 7 it feels like and honestly this took me about two hours to decorate my hutch because I was just not fully happy with it even when I was done um, I don't have a whole lot of red white and blue decor but I don't know it's not horrible I'm like I am happy with it but I just wish that I had some more vintage pieces I guess um, but you're gonna see what I'm doing right now is not gonna stick at all <laughs> I literally change it up so much and the thing is that these scars are scary, but they are just small scars. We should never be afraid of them. You and I know when we are too far apart, everything just falls apart. So I just close my eyes. unhappy with the two bottom shelves but the top 
two shelves are the ones I struggled with and I decided to put these candlesticks on this top shelf and I actually really do like the way that that came out. I think that it kind of broke up the hutch from having a bigger piece in the middle on each row and it helped I guess more with that vintagey feel I was going for. Um, a lot of the stuff on this hutch is actually hand-me-downs from my mom. So like the white glasses and a lot of the red, white, and blue decor is from my mom or it's either from Target Dollar Spot last year or this year. And that's all I have because I just did red, white, and blue for the first time last year and I only did it in my living room last year. So I didn't have this big, huge space to decorate. Um, but I am happy, like I said, with the way it came out. I'm curious, how do you guys decorate for summer? There's so many different ways to go about it, so let me know what theme you go for, or do you just go light and airy? What do you like to do for summer? After the 4th, I plan on switching this area back to a more light and airy feel, because honestly, before I decorated for the 4th, I was really content with the way my hutch looked. It was super neutral and just went... Um, with like everything it was like a very everyday look, you know, and I really liked it. it was like the first time I had ever gotten an everyday look So I'm gonna be going back to that and sharing that with you guys after the fourth I can't see the point of pointing fingers. Come on, let's rejoice So here is a little overview on how the hutch turned out. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like it, what you would change, and what you think. What will come? I have made the choice of thinking bigger. Cause you are all that I need. You are all that so I need. So I just close my eyes and dream about our kids and how they're running around. Yeah, yeah. Won't you come and lay? So moving on to my dining room table area. You guys, this light fixture, I genuinely do not know the last time I dusted it. All I know is that I've been looking at it for like a good month straight thinking, wow, these lights really need to be dusted. So I decided it was finally time to do that. I wanted to go pretty simple for my dining room table because I haven't had a lot of color in my dining room for a while so I just didn't want to make it like too much by decorating my tiered tray like I normally would so like I said I just got that Amazon table runner and then I used the um, hearth and hand vase and just put some lamb's ear in there and I put that USA sign from the dollar spot around it as well I really liked the way that looked and then my little vintage flags, I feel like added the perfect touch into this super simple yet cute centerpiece. Something I have to do pretty often because again, kids and dogs is do like a deep clean of underneath <laughs> my dining room table chairs. Um, so like I'll wipe down all the legs of the table and the chairs and then the little like stoppers, I don't know what they're called, the things that you put underneath your chair so that they don't like scratch your floor. Um, those tend to collect all the dog hair. So I always have to go around and pick off dog hair from them. And then I just like to sweep and mop underneath the table while all the chairs are out and make sure it's nice and clean under there because I swear my husky, like that's her favorite place to lay is under the table.
all right you guys moving on to this dessert oh my goodness it is so good your family is going to love it it's a red white and blue cheesecake salad and when we are actually making this we made it for our memorial day cookout and it was gone by the time we left my parents house that's how good it is your family's seriously gonna love it it's easy and it's delicious my niece is actually helping me make it so that is who you're gonna see during these clips but she is just starting off by adding a block of cream cheese into my KitchenAid mixer and um, mixing that up a little bit you're gonna start off by whipping that up a little bit and then you're gonna take some vanilla pudding mix and add that <laughs> her little modeling is just cute um you're gonna add that into the cream cheese and mix that all up everything will be right when we dance and we fall and we don't care at all now we just sing the la 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 So while that's going, you're going to go ahead and add some half and half. So I started off with um, about a cup and a half. However, that did not give the texture I was looking for. You want it like nice and creamy. And after a cup and a half, it was still kind of clumpy. Um, you're also going to add some vanilla extract into your half and a half. I almost forgot to mention that. About a tablespoon. I never measure vanilla extract because it's like my favorite. So, you know just a little dash here a little dash there um but after i did the cup and a half and i decided it wasn't the texture we were going for i added in probably about another half a cup so probably two cups all together will do the trick but you just want like a nice creamy consistency <laughs> So go ahead and pop that in the fridge and while that's in the fridge start chopping up your fruit so we're starting off by cutting up four bananas and once they're all cut up you're going to add them to a big bowl your serving bowl whatever you're going to use um, and put some lemon juice over the bananas that way they don't get brown we made this the night before and by the next day they weren't brown it was still good and um, yeah so that's just a little trick to keep your bananas from getting too ripe. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. We also cut up a thing of strawberries. I don't think we did the whole entire carton. I want to say it was about three-fourths of the carton, but I, I don't remember for sure. And then I also went ahead and washed the blueberries and added that into the fruit salad as well. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Once your fruit is all in the bowl, you're ready to add in your cream cheese mixture. So you're just going to go ahead and start folding this into the fruit, mix it all up nice and well, and at that point, you guys, this is done. Super easy, but I'm telling you guys, it is so good. <laughs> like seriously, if you try this, make sure to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see if you guys give it a try or not and how your family liked it. 
So here is the finished product. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you got lots of inspiration for your decor and some cleaning motivation. And you know, if you try out this fruit salad, like I said, make sure to tag me or if you make these tea stained flags, again, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, please comment down below with a red, white, or blue heart emoji, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!